All right, guys. So it's topic two, part two, topic five, part two, slope-intercept form. Uh, this is a big deal lesson. So if there is one topic, or only a few topics that you take out of this course, this is certainly one of the essential ones. Okay. So pay attention. Make sure you guys can do this by the uh, end of the video, or at least by the end of the next class. So if we want to write equations in this form y equals mx plus b. We need to get the number for m and the number for b. So if they give us the slope, then we only need to find the y-intercept. All right. So anytime they give us the two pieces of information, we can find the line. So what we're going to do here is uh, give ourselves a little bit more room, and then um, We're going to set up our equation. We know we want y equals mx plus b. And we know the slope. Okay. We also have an x-coordinate and a y-coordinate. So I'm going to plug in the x, the y, and the m. And that lets me solve for b. Once I solve for b, I'm going to plug it back into my equation. So what I mean is, I know right now my equation has to be y equals slope 3 fifths x plus something. I don't know what that something is, so I'm going to solve for it. So I plug in the 3 fifths, I plug in the y, and I substitute in the negative 10 for x. All right, And I still have that plus b, so I've substituted in the x, the y, and the m. So I multiply those, I get 2 equals uh, negative 30 over 5 plus b. So I have 2 equals negative 30 over 5 is negative 6 plus b. So now I solve for b. So 8 equals b. Now I'm not done. I just found my y-intercept. So now I want to plug that in and say my y equals mx plus b equation is y equals 3 fifths x plus 8. That's it. All right? So it's just this idea of substituting the slope and the point coordinates, solve for b, and then substitute the slope and the y-intercept, just like you did on the last video to get the equation. So here is another example. If our slope is 0, well, right away we know we have a horizontal line. So therefore, our equation is just y equals the y-coordinate. Uh, y equals 7. Just to show you that process works, let's try it the other way. So we have y equals mx plus b, plug in the y, plug in the slope, which is 0, times x, which is negative 6, plus b. So we solve, and we get 7 equals b, right, because 0 times negative 6 is 0. So then we plug it back into y equals mx plus b, so y equals 0 times x plus our 7. And then 0 times x is always 0, so we have y equals 7. So even if you aren't clever enough to notice that slope is 0, gives us a horizontal line, and know that a horizontal line has a y equals number equation, you can still do the process and get the right answer. All right, so these two are like the first example I did, so go ahead and try those. Now, what if they give you just two points? Like I said, two pieces of information, we can find the equation of a line. So what do we need? For y equals mx plus b, we need the slope and the y-intercept. All right. So we don't have either at first. So what we're going to do is find the slope or calculate the slope using this formula, which we did at the beginning of the unit. So negative 1 minus 2 over 4 minus 0 gives us negative 3 over 4. So that's our slope. So already I know part of my equation. Remember, this is our end goal. So we have y equals negative 3 fourths times x. So we've got the slope plus the y-intercept. So I don't know what the y-intercept is yet. So I'm going to use that same exact process to find it. So what I do is plug the slope in for m. Now I can use either point here. It doesn't matter. And in fact, since y is 0, this is going to be my y-intercept. It's going to be 2. Let's say I didn't recognize that, though, and I chose to use this point. So does it matter which point I use? No, it does not matter which point that I use. So I'm just going to do this one to show you the whole process. So we 
plug in 4 for our x, or negative 1 for our y, equals the slope, negative 3 fourths, times 4, because that's our x, and then plus b. We don't know what b is. That's what we're trying to solve for. So negative 1 equals negative 3 fourths times 4 is negative 3 plus b. And we add 3 to both sides, and that gives us a 2. So 2 equals b. So that's our y-intercept. So now we have the b, we have the m, we have our y equals mx plus b equation. All right, key concept. I know it doesn't seem that hard, and it's really not, but make sure you guys get this. So here is your u try, an example very similar. Now, um, go ahead, give it a whirl. Mark down any questions you have in the margin, so you can remember to ask them in class. Uh, Rewatch this or Mrs. Hartman's video if you have to, and I'll see you next class.